How's it going, everyone? Welcome to the New Biology Clinic. I just wanted to take a moment to share a little bit of uh, some of the things that we talk about a lot at uh, the clinic and a lot of, with one-on-one -on -one sessions, as well as these group webinars that I do hold. And that piece that I want to talk about today is expectations of self. Um, one of the big things that I see and have seen a lot throughout my career is that you get a lot of people who get this big upswing of motivation. And you see it a lot of times during the new year, during uh, people having their new year's resolutions. And what will happen is, is that we start to see time and time again, people coming in, they work really hard for a couple weeks, a couple months. And then as many people will say to me as they fall off the wagon, there's this falling off piece that brings people into this perpetual state of this downward spiral um, in the sense that when they can't maintain that certain exertion of, uh, you know, whatever, whether it be five days a week, three days a week, whatever it is, um, people then will, life will get busy and things will get crazy and hectic again. And what we start to see is, is then people falling off the wagon, as they say. And then there's this almost, not only say depressed like state, but there's definitely this, this shift in people's energy from less motivation to a little bit of self doubt, maybe um, this, this feeling of, you know, weak or, you know, whatever comes to mind, whatever uh, entities of sorts come into your mind and tell you something about you and make you believe it to be uh, something that is not true. And the reason it's not true is because there is motivation with all of us. There is this ability to see change, to act, take action towards those changes and people do apply it. But the big thing, as I said, is talking about um, creating this, these goals and creating this mindset of, okay, I have to exert this much and, and just go hard, hard, hard. What starts to happen is that expectation based off of where we started doesn't really match. And so what we do a lot at the clinic is, is that we teach people how um, we can approach this change in creating these expectations of self in a way that actually brings a gentleness. Now, some of you might be looking at me and going or hearing this and going, what is he talking about? But the reality is, is that when you look at a lot of all of well, a lot of us, when we create these high expectations and then we don't achieve them, as you, as I just said, we start to bring ourselves down and there's this mindset of I'm, I'm a failure or I can't do it. But the reality is, is I'm basically just saying is, is that we just need to set a lower expectation. And this is what progression is, right? And a lot of people will say, well, you know, I'm just, I'm just trying to go to the gym five days a week. I'm just trying to be healthy. The reality is, is going, can you sustain one day a week for a couple of weeks? That's a start. If you're not, if you're going from not doing it at all to doing one time, that's a gentle new expectation of self it's gentle in the sense of you've done one you can achieve one if you know hey i've done that for two weeks i've succeeded that's the taking the wins as i call them at the clinic and in general with clients as i say take the win if you go on one day a week you go on one day a week you go two days a week now you've set the bar even higher and next week if you still do one that's still your expectation so anything past that becomes extra and people might go, well, it's only one day. That's the issue with the mindset a lot of times is when we go so high in our expectations, we don't see the wins along the way. And that's that gentleness that we need. We keep talking about. And so one of the things that I like to do with a lot of the members and clients is as we go into this, is we, we teach ourselves how to create a mindset, a space within ourselves that allows this gentle approach to reaching our goals and having these expectations. Now, it's not that we're not working hard. It's not that we're not pushing our limits. It's not that we're, you know, just saying nice things about each other and that's how we get there. No, it's we're faced, we're going to be uncomfortable. We're going to go into places maybe where your body brings up a memory that is, ooh, you might feel really good after. You might feel pretty tired or pretty sore after. But what we are providing is a present awareness to those experiences and we allow ourselves to carry in almost like a tool, this gentleness to those experiences. Because when we do that, now the body can go, all right, we are now pushing past what is considered our baseline normal, wherever that is, each person it's different. We're going into a higher expectation. 
We're letting ourselves achieve that expectation, be in that achievement, enjoy, embrace that achievement, not letting ourselves bring ourselves back down, letting the voices get in our head. We allow ourselves to embrace it, embody it, let ourselves then use that energy, that fuel to then further our goals and what those new expectations may be over time or progressions as people call them. I promise you all, for those who are not members, whether you join the clinic or not, if you can allow yourself an opportunity to say, what are my expectations that I'm putting on myself? We'll stay right now for just exercise. And are those achievable? Have I been able to maintain, not just get to something and then that's it, you're done, but to maintain some achievement. And if you find that the answer to that is no, I cannot maintain those, those goals, then a great place to start is saying, okay, what's one ring below that? What's one rung below that? And can I achieve that and sustain that? And then try. Can I achieve that expectation? Can I maintain this expectation? Just like we expect, there's an expectation of, all right, I'm going to get up, I'm going to shower, whatever, brush my teeth, whatever, whatever your day-to-day -day expectations are, is going, can I find these expectations in my health and wellness that are sustainable? And when you do that and you find where that is, where you are right now on your journey, and then you can also provide that gentleness to the experience. What you have done now is, is you don't, we don't fall off wagons. There is no falling off. You might slow down at times. You might pick up the pace at times. But when you're in this awareness and this mindset and this gentleness, while still working hard, you're going to start to notice you don't fall off anything. You don't look at eating chunk food as, as I'm falling off. You don't look at only working out once in the week as a falling off. You don't look at these things as falling off. You just look at it as part of the journey because you are allowing yourself to be gentle with that experience. And the more gentle we are with those experiences, I can say with certainty, more often than not, we're able to follow whatever guidelines or protocols we do put in place for ourselves because there isn't this forceful, you have to choose, you have to do this. You have to do something. It's going, I want to do this. And I know I can do this and I will do this. And when we get in that state, there is no forcing to get up at 5 a.m. There is no needing to psych yourself up to do something. You've created a space where it's going, we're here, we're ready. You might be tired. You might go, hey, today I'm not going to go as hard. But that gentleness you bring and just getting in and get your body moving might be exactly what you needed to get it to that place. It's like, all right, we're ready. Rather than be like, I got to go in. I got to do this. I got to make it happen. And then you're not focusing on form. You're not paying attention. You're not present. And all of a sudden, your whole body just shuts down. It's going, I can't do this. We can't sustain this. This expectation is not realistic for where we are now. Now, is the body resilient? Yes, absolutely. But the body does has a limit and those are thresholds. And if we are over exceeding those thresholds because we're setting such a high expectation and we can't allow ourselves to go to that place because a lot of people want to go there, but they don't know how to get there mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. Some people can, some people it's a lot easier, but not for all of us. So if we're not used to that, give ourselves realistic expectations, set the bar in a place where it's sustainable, it's obtainable and where we can be gentle with ourselves. Some of you, my last thing, some of you, it might be, hey, all I want to do for this is just to get out in the sun for 20 minutes a day. I haven't, I've been inside at work all day, every day. I don't get out a lot. I want to move. I want to be healthy. But right now getting to the gym and doing even one day a week is challenging. That's fine. Let's meet you where you are. Can you do 20 minutes in the sun? Yeah. Because what you might be just missing out in is a depletion of energy. So what happens when you go out in the sun? We get some energy, maybe some motivation, maybe some charge. I mean, you are getting charged, but the charge that is needed for us to then get into that mindset, to shift the frequency of the mind, shifting everything within us to go, you know what? I do have enough to now go for a walk. I got an extra five minutes. Let me walk around the block. You know what I mean? So this is part of what my job is and what we do at the, at the clinic is, is we try to find where everybody is meet you where you are and create a plan or create something that we can then, uh, you know, push off of a catapult, you know, that we can use to then get you moving forward. So I hope this helps give yourself those expectations. We don't have to wait till the new year to do it. You can do it right now. 
but bring that gentleness to yourself, bring the gentleness to your body, your mind. If you feel those voices are coming in, telling you you're this, this, and this, try to breathe into it. Say, you know what? I hear you voices, but that's not true because I just went outside for 20 minutes. I just did this. I was able to accomplish this. I am taking the wins in my life. Those voices will get quieter and quieter and quieter over time. So anyway, I hope this helps. We hope to see you out at the New Biology Clinic. If you need anything, you can find me there. Um, and, that's, and I can answer any and all questions that you might have. Uh, but until then, have a wonderful day, everyone. Enjoy.